So today we're going to be starting chapter 10. And so to begin chapter 10, we have to review on circles and some of the properties of circles um, to continue on. Uh, today we're going to be talking about some things that might seem like a quick review and some of them might seem like new information. So let's get started. So first, um, a circle is the set of all points around a point called the center. Okay, so we have a center right here, and this is an infinite number of points that are equidistant from the center. It's not a very good circle, but from the center, let's make it a little bit bigger. Okay, they're all equidistant. And so from the center to the outside, this is known as the radius. Okay. And if we were all the way across from one side through the center, that's called a diameter. And then something that doesn't go through the center but touches from side to side, that's known as a chord. Okay, and we're going to look at those real quick um, right here. Okay, so just quickly, radius, okay. Uh, so an example of a radius on this circle would be DC or CD. A chord would be AB, uh, and the diameter would be DE, right? Um, so all of those um, are found from this circle. All right, so let's look at this one. It says name the circle, okay, and identify the radius. So this would be circle P, we'd call it, because that's the center is P. Um, and its radius is going to be a couple different choices for radius, but uh, one of the radiuses is um, MP. Or another one would be LP, or we could do NP. Okay. Um, second one, okay, letter B, identify a chord and a diameter of the circle. So the chord could be JK, right? So notice the chord does not go through uh, the center, and the diameter is going to be HG, right? That goes all the way through. Um, all right, so here's a guided practice problem you can try on your own. All right, so the radius formula. So you may have noticed that a radius is from the center to the outside, and the diameter is all the way across. So a radius is actually one half of the diameter, okay? One half of D. Now this also, okay, means that two times the radius is equal to the diameter, right? So uh, that helps us with the next thing. Okay, so circumference is always just pi times the diameter, right? Which, if we were going to substitute this 2r in, another way to write circumference is 2 pi r, okay? So we can actually find the circumference using diameter or radius um, from the radius formula. So example two says, if QV is eight inches, what is the diameter of circle Q? So like we said before, um, the diameter is two times R. So the diameter is going to be two times eight. Oops, sorry, two times eight. And so that would be 16 inches. Okay, hopefully not too difficult for you. Um, here's a couple guided practice problems that you can try as well. All right, uh, example three. The diameter of S is 30 units. Okay, so uh, diameter of S is 30 units, so all the way across is 30. And then it says the uh, diameter of R is 20. So um, all the way across is 20. And so it says, and DS is 9. Okay, so DS right here is 9. Um, so find CD. Okay, so CD is going to be this amount right here. Now, I kind of wrote over it quite a bit, but um, a couple things we can look at here is that RD, okay, RD, in fact, I'll maybe um, do some erasing here. Okay. Okay. So RD was, um, well, it actually told us that the diameter of R is 20. So RD 
is going to be 10 units. Okay, 10 units. And we know that uh, SC was going to be half of 30, which was 15. Okay, and so, um, and then it told us that DS was 9. So this amount right here was 9, that 9 units. And uh, so if we were to take C, CS minus DS, that would be 15 minus 9. And so um, that would end up being 6. So CD, the difference between them is going to be 6 units. Okay, hopefully that wasn't too difficult. All right, so circumference. Um, so we already talked about that, that circumference is 2 times pi times the radius or 2 times pi times the diameter. Oops, excuse me. Not correct. Or pi times the diameter, right? So circumference can either be 2 pi r or it can be pi times the diameter. All right, so here's an example. Uh, it's actually a real world example. Back in 2005, Roger Federer and Andre Agassi played tennis on a helipad in uh, the United Arab Emirates. So the helipad has a diameter of 79 feet. Okay, 79 feet, uh, and is nearly 700 feet high. So it says find the circumference of the helipad. So if we know that the diameter was 79 feet, the circumference of it would be pi times the diameter. So in our case, it would be 79 feet. Okay, and you could actually leave it as 79 pi feet. That is technically uh, an answer. Otherwise, if you were to take 79 times uh, 3.14, you would get 248.06 yeah, 248 feet. Okay. So either one is a correct answer. Um, and the guided practice problems, it says right here to round to the nearest hundredth. So that would be... Um, so we hit our 0 0.06. That would be um, rounded to the nearest hundreds right there. Okay. Now, example five says find the diameter and radius of a circle to the nearest hundredth if the circumference of the circle is 106.4. So now, looking at this equation, right, we have uh, pi times the diameter, but this time they actually tell us the circumference. So we're going to say 106.4. 4 is equal to pi times our diameter. Okay, so if we wanted to figure out what the diameter is, is we would divide by pi, right, or 3.14. And so when we do that, we find that our diameter is 106.4 divided by 3.14, 33.89. 33.89 mm. millimeters. And if we want to figure out our radius, remember radius is half of the diameter. So we'd actually take that 33.89 value and divide it by 2. And we find it it's 16.94. Um, millimeters. Okay. So remember, um, the radius is half of the diameter. So we just took 33.89 divided by 2. Okay, here's a guided practice problem that you can try as well. Now, the, before we get to our last problem, we have to talk about um, two new vocabulary words maybe for you. So inscribed is when a figure is inside of another. Okay, so for example, if I have this circle, and I have a triangle, okay, we would say that the um, triangle is inscribed of the blue circle, okay, so it's inside. Now, circumscribed is um, 
uh, when a figure, I'll actually say when a figure, um, uh, circles another. So for example, we would actually say that the blue circle is circumscribing the orange triangle. Okay, so you can see the difference. I have the same picture, but it's all from where you're talking about. So inscribed is the triangle because it's inside of it. And circumscribed is what the circle is doing to the triangle. Okay, now hopefully that helps us with our next example. All right, so example six, it says a square with a side length of nine inches is inscribed in circle J. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to draw a circle. Let's see. I guess it's not going to let me draw a circle. Okay, so I will draw a circle J. All right, so this is circle J. And then I can actually draw my square with side lengths of nine. So I do apologize, it's not very good circle or square, but all sides are nine. And so what you can notice is that these are all chords, right? They don't go through the center. But we do know one thing. From this edge right here that touches it to the other edge over here that touches it, okay? In fact, you know what? I am just gonna start over, right? In fact, I'm gonna start with my square. Okay, so this is a nine by nine by nine. Okay, and I'm gonna draw my circle. Let's see. We'll try again, I guess. All right, so here's my square. All right, nine by nine by nine. Okay, and now I'm gonna draw, I'll try a different color. All right, and we're gonna make those big circles so they touch right here. Okay, those are all touching, all right? Sometimes we can fudge it just a little bit. All right, and so now what we notice is that all the way across through J, because this is circle J, we have um, our diameter, right? And so we know that all these sides are nine, but I know that this is a right triangle and these are gonna be 45, 45, 90 triangles. And so we know that in a 45, 45, 90 triangle that our hypotenuse is going to be nine square roots of two. So that means that this orange line is going to be nine square roots of two. So that means my diameter of my circle is nine square roots of two. So if I wanted to figure out the exact circumference of this, remember circumference is pi times the diameter, all we would do is substitute in nine square roots of two for our diameter, and we would say the circumference is going to be nine uh, square roots of two pi, and that would be inches. And that would be an exact answer. So hopefully that helps you out, um, and uh, let me know if you have any questions.